Robertsville, Alabama. Woke up this morning, drove, I don't know, maybe like 60 miles, 70 miles. I'm in Irvington, Alabama, and loves. I just took a shower. What are my gloves on? I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, so I just took a shower. I'm just gonna check my load. I wanted to show how these containers are secured to the trailer. I mean, every time you stop, you wanna check your tires. I mean, if, if, if you can, I mean, you don't wanna be checking them all the time throughout the day. I mean, it. I mean, if you notice something's wrong, you know, it's better safe than sorry. Give it everything a little check, but I don't know if you can really see in there, but that twist lock's hold inside that, that corner there and securing the load. So there's four for each tank. Got my hammer with me. Just dump the tires real quick. Make sure they're good. I mean, since I stopped, I'm gonna come out, make sure everything's good. I don't have, I'm going to Chalmette, Louisiana. I'm gonna drop these tanks off, then I'm going home back to Thibodeau. Thibodeau. You know, you wanna check your lights. Just quick walk around the trailer, making sure all the twist locks are the way they should be. Uh, sometimes it's a hard thing to do, but personal hygiene when you're trucking, oh man, it's very important. I mean, you wanna brush your teeth, you wanna shower, you get a chance. I mean, you don't wanna be going around all pescoso and I mean, stinky and all that. I've got a marker light out on my trailer, so on the right corner of my trailer. I couldn't find one that matches up with it, but I do have a magnetic marker light if I need it. I'm just going to put it on now. Better safe than sorry. I mean, if you could avoid DOT messing with you, that's the best thing to do. I mean, DOTs not out to get you, they just want to make sure you're doing everything right. I mean, I always had a good experience. Uh, hey, uh, one important thing I wanted to cover is uh, the size of your load and, and stuff. You, you want to know what you're carrying, you want to make sure it's legal. My first video, I said I had a scraper that was 1410. It was actually 1310. The permit was for 14 feet. They, they always make it a little bigger, you know, just to be, be safe but uh but yeah this is a legal load it's not going to go over 13.6 the bed of the trailer is right about eight feet six inches uh wide so the load's within those limits and uh yeah so those are the iso tanks that's the load securement for the iso tanks on this trailer i have used chains before I see a lot, some guys use straps. My straps are really straps are really not long enough for that, and I, I I just I myself don't trust them. I've had loads where guys put straps like straps on, and, but I've had loads where other guys use straps. I use straps, and I notice that the load crawls where you know it kind of inches up forward or inches back or side to side, and I'd rather not have that going on because you, you never know when you're gonna have a brake check on the highway or something, you got a hard brake and you know, your load starts shifting and all that. I mean, it just leads to problems. I'm trying to get my glove off. Uh, but yeah, so I covered everything. Uh, you, you know, just God bless everybody. Stay positive.